In this video, I will be showing you how to replace a reciprocator. The tools needed will be a 2.5mm Allen, 3mm Allen, and a Phillips head screwdriver. The reciprocator is placed behind the head. Step 1 will be to remove the head and put it somewhere safe. I went ahead and put a piece of cardboard on top of the machine so that when I remove the head, I can place it in a safe area. We will need to take off the back cover to unplug the two connectors that are for the sensor and the light of the head. You will need to remove the zip ties from each cable and unplug them. Now we're going to unscrew the head. In order to access the screws, we will need to remove the check spring, the top and bottom covers, and put the threads to the side. So now we'll remove these two screws from the check spring. top cover will also come off. We will also need to remove the bottom cover. You can go ahead and put the threads to the side. Now we will be removing the head screws that are located here and here. You will need a 3 millimeter Allen. Before the next step, remember which needle you are on, so when you put the head back on, it is placed properly. And now that the screws are out, we're going to close the cover, move the head up and tilt towards you, and we're going to place the head on top where the cardboard is located. This is another view of the head as we remove it. As you can see, there's a sensor and an arm. This is the reason why we tilt the head as we pull up. Now we're going to remove these three covers. Now we're going to remove the center shaft. The center shaft is what holds the reciprocator in place. In order to remove the shaft, you will have to loosen the two and a half millimeter hex screw and all you have to do is turn it a couple times and the shaft should come loose. Now that the center shaft is loose, we're going to push up to release the reciprocator. While you're pushing it up, Please be careful with the bearing at the bottom that it will come loose. Just keep 
Fling it up. And the center shaft should come out soon. This is a closer look at the removal of the center shaft. All you have to do is pull the shaft up. If the shaft feels stuck, there is a hole underneath where you can apply pressure. This is a reciprocator. In order to remove the reciprocator, all you have to do is turn it this way and pull it straight out. Now we're going to put in the new reciprocator. The reciprocator has a small rod in the back that would go into this arm and it also has a guide that would go into the right shaft. First we're going to put the rod into the arm. Slide it in and now we're going to put the guide into the right shaft. Now we're going to put the center shaft back in. The center shaft should have a flat side at the very bottom. The flat side would go on the left side where the set screw goes. After the center shaft passes this area, make sure to put the bearing to hold it in place. And pass the shaft through. You can use some tweezers to put the felt up through the center shaft and push through. This is another view of how to put the center shaft through the reciprocator. Remember that the shaft at the very bottom has a flat side that has to be facing to the left. So we'll go ahead and put it through the reciprocator, slide it through. When it gets to this point, you want to get the bearing, hold it in place, push through this center shaft. Once you get past the bearing, you want to get some tweezers to grab the felt, get it through the center shaft, kind of hold it up while you push the shaft down into place. Remember that you have to have that flat side of the shaft facing left. Once you get it through, underneath, you need to make sure that the shaft is lined up with the bottom. Push the bearing down and tighten the set screw. Now we're going to put the three metal covers back on. First we're going to put the bottom cover. The bottom cover has to be centered with the bearing. Now we're going to put the head back on. There are four things that you have to line the head with. There's 
the color change arm, the guide rail, the lower guide, and the grabber. You have to make sure that they are lined up with these four things. Now we're going to put the head back on. The first step is to line up the lower guide and the grabber. While lining up the grabber, you have to pull the grabber back in order for it to line up with the Velcro. Now remember to place the needle in the same position that it was removed on in order for the head to be lined up the exact way it was before. Also, when putting the head back on, make sure that the guide rail is flush with the side of the head on both sides. The last thing that has to be lined up is the sensor. As you can see, the sensor can slide left and right. Make sure that it's lined up with the silver arm. Now with it, we did all the four steps. I will show you how to put the head in properly. Make sure that everything is lined up. And shake it a little until you feel it sit in place. When the head is properly positioned, you will be able to see the guide rail screw holes through the front of the head. So now we'll go ahead and put in the head screws. Now we'll put the top cover. Make sure that it's lined up. And now we're going to put the bottom cover. nice and tight. And now we're going to connect the two cables in the back of the head. Make sure they're all the way in. And you will also need to zip tie them. nice and tight so the cables won't move when you're having a color change And we get the cover. Just pop it back into place. And that concludes the reciprocator video. Thanks for watching.